you can spot me in the city building lobby with a sword off shot. He's screaming, drop it, this a robbery. Busting out of this prison, either rise or you fall. I'm on a mission, bringing my teeth to fruition. I ain't playing at all. Bring out the body bags, I'm about to kill him, deliver them to the mortician. What's up, my people? This is Showbiz the Adult. Yeah, it looked great, right? It looked awesome. Okay, so that is the Mike Tyson uh, virtual boxing game. I have a subscriber uh, named Black Sun. He wanted me to cover this. Now, we I'm sure all of you have seen this these trailers. I mean, they just look stunning. And if you haven't seen them, well, it pleases me to be the first. Okay, but they're, they've been around for a while. All right, um, I don't want to get you guys too excited because uh, that game is a casino game. It's where you make bets, right, on uh, I think how long the fight will last between these guys and Mike Tyson or something like that. But that is not what this video is going to be about, breaking down that game. It, the company is called Inspired, okay, so they have a total different approach, you know, a technology where uh, they're doing different things with the motion capture, right? So you have something that looks as stunning as this. Um, so I want to break down uh, the trailers, uh, you know, just a couple of things from the trailers so we can inspire, uh, pun intended, um, Fight Night Champion or inspire EA Sports on how to approach a new Fight Night Champion game. Or even Floyd Mayweather, if he's really talking about doing something outside of that VR game that we know about now. The first thing I want to say is, this is why um, uh, monopolies or scarcity isn't good for the consumer. Okay, it's very good for the company, not so much for the consumer. Because the consumer becomes blind on what to expect. Okay, so when we think of a boxing game and animation, the only thing we can think about is EA's approach. You can only think about that approach and you don't really know what to expect. Then when you have something like this released, you look at it and you say, what the heck? When you look at, let's look at the game. Let's look at the game. What really stands out for me right here is where the punches are landing. Okay, you have punches on the elbow. You have, even when Mike Tyson knocked that dude out, you have punches in the back of the head while the dude's turning and falling. There's different points that makes it look very realistic. Another thing you can take from it is the way Mike Tyson moves. When he moves, taking that step. You know what I'm saying? It looks very authentic. Of course, it's motion capture. It looks very authentic. Another thing is the variety of punches. All right, his hooks how wide his punches come out when he's trying to finish you, uh, the way he jab and he's ducking while he's jabbing, all those things are extremely authentic, okay? There's another trailer, um, and there's the part that I really like, it's a very small part, where right there, you see how Mike Tyson, if you can rewind that, you see how Mike Tyson, uh, he's kind of, the guy threw the, the jab and Mike Tyson is like kind of going for the feint. He's blocking without blocking really. He's just preparing to counter. That little move right there is amazing. Another thing is the knockout. You see how the guy's knee caves in when he falls? Okay, that looks extremely authentic. Stuff like that. Now, we do know that this is cinematic. It's not true gameplay. But there are certain things that you can take from it and incorporate into a new uh, boxing game, especially when it's on the new gen. Okay, so I'm saying let's not put ourselves in a box and just open up a little bit. Let's, let's just open up a little bit. In Fight Night, when you Fight Night Champion, when you look at Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson, he's doing the right thing. He looks good. But all of the punches are very... You know, they're kind of robotic. When you press uppercut, it's the same uppercut motion, right? When you press the hooks, I mean, he's digging. He's doing right, just like Mike Tyson. He's coming with the hooks right. Um, but there's no real variety. And a lot of the punches are thrown in the same area no matter what, okay? A lot of the times, all right? Um, so I was kind of looking at these two games, and I was kind of thinking. I know it's no fair. Uh, EA Sports... 
Fight Night Champion is 2011, but I'm just saying let's broaden our scope on what to expect. Let's talk about when Mike Tyson kind of blocked when the guy threw the jab, but he was out of reach. All right. Um, that you can incorporate that in a new gen fight night champion game. How? By holding block. If you can have them hold block, have us hold block. But if the guy is out of range, if it's just like I, I took computer programming for three years when I was in college. All right. So I know the if ands. A lot of you guys who are looking at this, you know, uh, this happens if. This happens if and if. I mean, it's a very complex thing. But the idea is if the guy, the boxer, is a little bit too out of range for your boxer, if you hold block and that guy threw a jab and he's out of range, that's an if, you can have the block don't look like just a regular normal block. Don't get too lazy. You can have the block do this. Okay? Because... He's out of range, and he just did this. Instead of no matter where you go, you're looking like this. You can have the block like this until you get into range. So if you're holding block, you can have the block look different until they get into range. All right? And when they get into range and the person throws a block where they can throws a punch where they can actually hit you, you block it. All right? But if you're out of range and that person throws a punch and he can't hit, hit you, you should faint. It should look like a faint. Also, let's talk about movement. Now, in fight night round three, uh, there have been fight nights. Like, let's take Roy Jones. Okay, Roy Jones had a very unique style. Now, when you looked at fight night, uh, when he wasn't in a position to punch and you moved around the ring, you actually kind of did a little animation, right? I mean, they do that with champion with Augustus. Okay, just, I mean, I'm taking the extremities, all right, the extreme uh, uh, boxing styles. But they have a little bit of an animation, right, on their own to show their personality. Well, you can, you should be able to do that, too, for the next level. You definitely want to keep that, but let's make it look a little bit realistic. How about just hitting themselves on the head? How about them looking just a little bit different, a little bit more realistic with the animation, being a little bit realistic when they're not engaging? Okay, there's a lot of fighters like Frazier who was always hitting himself on the head. All right. There's a lot of fighters who, who does that. You should put that animation in the game. Uh, another thing, when they jab. OK, now, if you press the double jab, that's an if. If you press the double jab, square, square, right, for PlayStation 3 or PlayStation, if you double, double tap the square, maybe their feet should stutter the way Mike Tyson was trying to jab his way in in a virtual boxing game. You can add these animations depending on what you're pressing on here. Let me let me grab the PlayStation. All right, so this is the PlayStation 4 controller, okay? So I was just thinking about all the variety of punches that Mike Tyson has in this virtual boxing game, okay? Um, and there's a way to do it. When you throw the hook, um, what was, what's, what's the hook? A hook, let's say X, right? I think X was the hook. When you throw a left hook with X, a right hook with, with circle, okay, you have your hooking animation, right? Now, when you modify it, it comes out slower but harder. You don't have to do it like that. If you press the X button for a left hook, it should be a regular check hook. Bam. Bam. Right? Now, if you hit the modifier, give the animation a duck. Just like how Mike Tyson duck, bam. Or maybe, depending on a boxer you have, the animation looks different, right? Um, let's say square and X for an uppercut. Just a regular uppercut, just like I do at the end of my videos, a check uppercut, boop. But if you modify it, the animation, I, don't just make it look slower, okay? It could be a tad bit slower, but the animation shows you that he's about to throw a modified uppercut, all right? Um, the straight, right? So when you modify the straight in Fight Night Champion, it was a hard lunging in straight, okay? But how realistic is that, right? In boxing, no one throws a straight and then do that, right? So maybe instead of that animation, if you modify it and hit triangle, it should be an overhand right, okay? Now, I know they had that with the toggles, but people who don't use toggle couldn't throw that overhand right. Well, use the modifier to do it. So that's how you can get the certain animations in this boxing game, in this 
cinematic, you know, virtual Mike Tyson boxing game, right? Now, also, you already know they changed the animation. They had many different ways of getting knocked out. So you can do the knee bend thing. You can do all those things. But you know how when you got hurt in Fight Night Champion, right? You got hurt and things turned red and you're just slow. Forget that, all right? When this guy was in the corner against Mike Tyson, his arms dropped and he, was, he wasn't knocked out, knocked out, right? He was still standing. That can be an extreme hurt look, okay? So when their arms and their arms drop, and now you're slinging and you're throwing your your heavy punches or whatever you want to punch, those punches, there should be a point system on the head where those punches are actually landing. So just like on Fight Night Champion, when they got hit and they turned around, you can't hit them in the back of the head, right? But that was after they were already knocked out. That was the animation. Boom, they're knocked out. And then you hear them in the back here. Well, let's do that a little bit earlier. Okay? So you heard them in a the corner, and they're so hurt that you can't block to save your life. All right? And they're throwing punches. Now, that opens up another possibility. That opens up another possibility where your fighter is defenseless on the corner, and the ref come in and stops the fight. What's wrong with that? Where the ref jump in, grab you, and wave it off. Wave you off. We would love that in a new fight night champion. Okay? Um, so... A lot of these things that's going on here that are very brilliant, you can actually expect that. We're going to call for these things. You can expect that for a new EA Fight Night Champion game, okay, or Round 5 or whatever. Let's expect those things because that's the whole point of the lack of scarcity. We ask customers, you can look at new products and say, hold on, you can actually do this. You can actually do that. And now we have a higher demand on what we would want out of a game. Like, no, 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 no. Look at what I just saw with this Mike Tyson virtual game. I want those type of animations. Now I know what can be done, okay? Now I know it's just cinematic, but I just ran off a few ways that you can incorporate animations into the buttons that you press or depending on the other fighter, where they're positioned, or what part of the fight is it? At the, is it at the end of the fight? Is he hurt? So let's start demanding those things. Thank goodness these trailers came out. All right, so now we can read our expectations. Customer is king. That is another thing that I've learned, okay? Customer is king, especially when marketing, especially when you come out with product. So we are king, okay? So we can ask for what we want, and thank goodness for these trailers we can start pushing EA and say, hey, not only give us a new fight night, but this is how we want it to look. Showbiz the adult. I'm out. Lobby with a sword off shot, he screaming, drop it, this a robbery.